Hi, welcome to my video. This video is entitled Speed VPN for PC. Now what I wanted to do in this um, video is show uh, a test of the fav favorite VPN I've used and the fastest one I've used and give you a quick demonstration of it. Um, by using this, it will also show you how you can check other VPNs that you want to see how they work for you. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize this. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm first of all going to give you a base based on um, my uh, internet connection, standard internet connection. Okay, this is without any VPN proxies enabled or anything. So I'm just going to run this as is. And we're just going to run the test on speedtest.net, which is a, um, a neat little checker that will go and test my internet connection and give me a rough speed. Uh, my normal internet speed comes between 35 and 40 megabytes a second. Um, it does vary a little bit. If any of my children are in the house, it'll plummet. But at the moment, there's nobody here at all. I was just checking. So it's coming 37.33, which is round about average, maybe a little bit slow. Sometimes sneak into 40. My apologies for people who've got much slower connections than me. Um, I used to have a much slower connection, but... Uh, We've had ADSL installed the last few years. Okay, and that's 11.68 megabytes per second upload speed. Okay, that's kind of um, standard for me. Speed test on that, be careful what you click on. It's full of horrible ads and stuff like that. But if you use the basic functionality, it's okay. Right, now I'm going to show you the VPN I use. Um, it's a subscription-based VPN called Identicloaker. Uh, I've been using it for years and years now. I've always found it to be the fastest. It is the most, it, its primary focus is um, security. So it is very secure and it has loads of configuration settings which you can use um, that lots of VPNs don't have. I mean, even something like here that you can change the encryption level. So you can actually turn encryption off which will help with the speed. Um, it works pretty good. I'm going to leave encryption on um, because an anti-cloaker is, is pretty quick. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for speed, don't look for free because it, it doesn't happen, I'm afraid. Um, VPNs are expensive to run as it is. And to keep them running quickly, you need big bandwidth. You need good support and uh, high quality servers. Um, it all costs money. Nobody gives that stuff away for free, unfortunately. Anyway, right. Okay, so I'm going to get here. This is the this. These are the VPN servers that are enabled with my account. That basically all of them are included. Uh, what I'm going to do here is look for the response time. Now this is a speed test, so I'm going to pick the fastest servers relative to me. So they will be located nearer. Okay, so um, I'm in the UK at the moment, so I'm going to pick a UK-based server. Obviously, if you're using the VPN to watch something like um, some video site, or say you were trying to watch something in the US or you're in the US and watching UK, you'll have to select the right country. So if you're outside the UK, you need a, a UK VPN for the BBC. But here, all I'm looking at is speed, okay? Um, also, if you're playing games, um, don't look for quite the quickest response. Sometimes the server that is... Uh, the VPN server that is based nearer your game server will give you the best response. But I'm just going to go for the response speed at the moment. Okay, so this seems to be one of the quickest for me. Uh, yeah, okay, it's at the moment. So I'm going to connect to a UK-based server, which I think is in London or Maidenhead, somewhere like that. Anyway, it's in London. Uh, I'm going to minimize that, and I'm going to go back. So I've now got a UK... VPN established okay so all my um, stuff is going uh, my connection is being routed through this UK VPN server let's do the test so we had 37.33 and 11.68 let's just uh, test it again okay so it'll rerun the test remember I'm running this with um, encryption enabled um, if I disable the encryption it will go down slightly, but it's quite an efficient encryption algorithm which uses compression, so it doesn't doesn't have a huge impact on speed. 
so we're getting 36.90 just slightly about a meg per second slower download through the vpn ping has gone up a little bit this is an extra hop in the route it's going to london and then to the um the speed test server which is in coventry i think so and there's 10.88 again just about half a meg down there so you can see the speed of this vpn is it has virtually no impact on my internet connection your your um results will vary obviously you'll get you should get a download speed when using the fastest servers fairly similar to your um standard download and upload speed there will be some slight impact but remember i'm using the faster server so i'm using uk vpn servers when i'm in the uk if i routed those through usa or australia these will come down slightly okay so they'll fall and your ping would likely to go up slightly you've got to bear it in mind with different uh, connotations like this as i said if you're using uh, a game server in the us Although your ping might go slightly up, you might actually get a better performance by having a, a US VPN server, which is nearer to your US game server, for instance. Okay, there's lots of configuration diff, uh, things you can tweak around in Identity Cloaker. It's certainly the fastest, the the biggest, the fastest VPN connection I've used with um, a PC, and I've I've tried most of them. You can also use the VPN. You can enable it on things like tablets and smartphones and stuff like that. But you don't get the software, so you can't access all the configuration details. You're just setting up a VPN directly. Okay, that's all I've got time for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and it's my SpeedVPN for a PC. Okay, bye.